let us continue our uh, study of uh, vector algebra uh, today i am going to go to the next part after algebra is calculus so we will start with some vector calculus kind of thing not exactly vector calculus but some calculus being used in vectors that's what i'll start with uh, so <clears throat> let us uh, understand definition of what a space curve uh, of course locus of any curve is called space curve that's a very unimaginative way of defining so let me try to explain what it means uh, say there is a butterfly flying in some frame of reference frame of reference means you have x y z axis at every point you can see butterfly has some coordinates x y z and uh, it has a position vector that means you take the vector joining starting at origin ending at wherever the butterfly is so every moment it is changing butterfly is moving so it continues to change one minute So here is, uh, for example, I have a butterfly is here. I'll just pick a point. This is a point. So let's say butterfly is here. And then I'll keep moving this butterfly. So then also let us consider this vector joining origin with uh, this point A. So this is the position vector of A and now I will uh, move this point. So it could go wherever, I don't know, it could go wherever like this it's going. So uh, uh, of course, we uh, every point, every moment it has a x, y, z coordinate. As you can see, it's the position vector is changing. Now I want to consider locus of all this. So how do I see that? So now you see I will show its locus means locus means all the points where butterfly had gone. See here you can see the locus. This is how butterfly is moving now. Every moment it is its uh, coordinates are changing. Correct? You see. So what you get here? This is a space curve here. By mistake it jumped. Butterflies don't jump, they don't vanish here and come up somewhere else. So it's a continuous curve. So, this is a uh, this blue curve, what you see is called a locus. Here it's rough, so you can see gaps in between. But if I had taken the position that is xyz coordinates at every second, every moment, then it would have been a continuous curve. Such a curve is called locus of. Uh, butterfly and it is called such a curve is called a space curve there will be many space curves many many space curves um, one can plot plenty of them uh, i will not attempt at that we will uh, see maybe maybe one can do it also so for example let us uh, let's see it's not that simple so i don't want to do that with geogebra right now you can think of a curve going in space. Means the space you collect few points together so that it's a continuous curve. So continuity is what is we want. So that's what I have explained here. So I imagine a butterfly flying in a frame of reference. At every instant, its position vector is changing. Its x, y, z coordinates are changing with time. Its locus is called a space curve. That means points collection of all points where butterfly has moved. That is called a space curve. Uh, <coughs> mathematically, its x, y, z coordinates are functions of time. That means at different times, it will have different x coordinate, different y coordinate, different z coordinate. But they all may not be different. They may, some may be same. But the idea is that every moment x, y, z is changing. That means the butterfly is moving from one place to another place. What we want to learn in this section is we want to find the velocity of the butterfly in terms of xt, yt and zt. Remember xt, yt, zt are coordinates of the butterfly at time t. x coordinate is xt, 
y coordinate is y t z coordinate is z. For example, t equal to one means one second. One second at during the time one second where the butterfly is, its x coordinate is x one. Y, y coordinate is y1, z coordinate is z1, x1, y1, z1. Similarly, you have to find x2, y2, z2. That means t equal to 2 seconds. That means when it is 2 seconds, where the butterfly is. 3 seconds, where the butterfly is. 3.5, where the butterfly is. 3.025, where the butterfly is. Like this, as the time changes, x, y, z also keeps changing. I want to find the velocity in terms of x, y, z. That is the purpose of this uh, talk. Also, I want to find acceleration of the butterfly in terms of x, y, and z. Here, I'm not going to spend too much time giving you physics details. I'll just tell what is necessary for your examination. Position vector, so some notations. Position vector at any instant of time is x, t, i cap plus y, t, j cap plus z, t, k cap. This is what I told you. That position vectors x component at time t is x, t. Position vectors y component at time t is y t similarly z t. R t is position vector, the whole of position vector. That means all x, y, z coordinates together. So R t is x t, y t, z t, or rather x t i plus y t j plus z t k. Velocity at any instant is given by this is the definition. by dx by dt i uh, it's denoted v of t v of t means velocity at time t d by dt j plus dz t, dz by dt k so dx by dt etc you know how to differentiate given a function x of t i know how to differentiate that function with respect to t similarly acceleration is second derivative you differentiate this twice that means you differentiate this once differentiate this twice xt you differentiate twice or differentiate dx by dt once similarly this is the formula where you differentiate yt twice and differentiate zt twice and put up put them up as uh, i j k th com components uh, velocity vector is also sometimes called tangent vector to the space curve I really don't have time energy to explain the physics of it, but let us just take this as a definition. Tangent vector is same as the velocity vector. So, uh, no, velocity is a vector. Velocity is a vector. It has both magnitude and direction. So, we, what is the vector at time t? This is the vector. Of course, as time t changes, velocity could change. That is why we will have an acceleration. So, acceleration also could change, and this is what it is at different times. That is what we have seen here. So, velocity vector, another name for it is tangent vector. If you really have time energy, check it out on the internet how to see if I have a space curve at any point, the tangent vector to that space curve at that point is nothing but the velocity of anything at that point moving along that curve with that speed. So maybe this is all too abstract. Let me give an example. So here is an example. Find velocity and acceleration of the space curve given by x t equal to 1 plus t cube, y t equal to 2 t cube, z t equal to 2 minus t cube. Let's go slowly. Don't see the whole slide at one go. Uh, understand the question. x t is 1 plus t cube. That means <coughs> as time varies, this is how x coordinate varies. For example, t equal to 0, x is 1 t equal to 1, x is 2, t equal to 2, x is 9, 1 plus 2 cube, t equal to 3, x t is 28, 1 plus 3 cube, like that, x is changing, it's going very fast, looks like, along x direction, but it's not only along x direction that butterfly or that object is going, y, along y direction also it's going 2 t cube, which is pretty high, uh, cool. thanks. So along y direction, it is going at 2 t q. Along 2 t q, that means at t equal to 0, y coordinate is 0. At t equal to 1, y coordinate is 2. At t equal to 2, y coordinate is 2 into 2, 2 cube, which is 16. Like that, y coordinate is changing at every time. In your mind, you think of t, give various values to t and see what are the x, y, z coordinates. 
t equal to 0 it is 1 comma 0 comma 2 t equal to 1 it is 2 comma 2 comma 1 like that you put various values for t and see what are the x y z coordinates collect all of them that is the space curve now i want to find out what is the velocity at different times how to do it we don't bother too much just the formula is there dx by dt differentiate the x component so if you differentiate 1 plus t cube you will get 3 t square put i with it differentiate y component 2 t cube differentiate that i will get 2 into 3 t square which is 6 t square j component if i differentiate this i will get minus 3 t square k component so put them together 3 t square i plus 6 t square j minus 3 t square k this is the velocity at different time as simple as that so if you want velocity, what is the velocity at time t equal to 1 second, put t equal to 1 here, you will get 3i plus 6j minus 3k, that's the velocity, it's as simple as that, if you know the coordinates, you can very easily find velocity, and acceleration is even simpler, rather it's the same thing, you differentiate this once more, if you differentiate this, you will get 6ti plus 12tj minus 6tk that's what is happening here you differentiate it once more you get this so acceleration is given by the uh, d square x by dt square i cap etc etc so this is how you find given space curve given space curve means you are given x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate at various times i want to find velocity at various times just differentiate each of them write the position vector is this into i i have not written it it would be nice if you can write it position vector is as i told here this is the position vector first line rt is xti plus ytj plus ztk i have not written it here please write it so rt is 1 plus t cube i plus 2 t cube j plus 2 minus t cube k now you differentiate that then you will get this you differentiate this once more you will get acceleration as simple as that so let us try some more easy ones Find the unit tangent vector of the space curve given by xt equal to cos t square, yt is sin t square and zt is 0. That means uh, zt is 0 means the butterfly or the object is never moving out of xy plane. Z component is always 0. It's okay. There is no problem. So tangent vector for this, uh, firstly, the, uh, I have not written here, I forgot, and please you write it. The position vector is xti plus ytj plus ztk, which means cos t square i plus sin t square j, and this is anyway k is 0, I mean uh, quotient of k is 0. So tangent vector is given by, you differentiate this, if you differentiate cos t square, you will get minus sin t square into t, this is your uh, chain rule. Cos, uh, cos t square if you differentiate you will get minus sin t square into 2t times i plus you differentiate sin t square if you differentiate sin t square you will get cos t square into 2t that's what i have done here t component is anyway zero so it doesn't matter so i rewrite it as minus 2t sin t square i plus 2t cos t square j this is the tangent vector but what do they want unit tangent vector if this is the tangent vector that means at various times this is the vector which will give me the tangent to the uh, movement of the of the space curve if i want unit tangent vector i know the tangent vector how to find unit tangent vector remember from our previous class all you have to do is divide by its modulus so i have to find its modulus its magnitude and divide by that so let me do that so this is the velocity vector pt is minus 2t sin t square i plus 2t cos t square j. This I have just rewritten this last expression. To find the unit tangent vector, one divides by root by its magnitude. What is its magnitude? So modulus of vt is root of coefficient i's coefficient square plus j's coefficient square. So minus 2t sin t square whole square. 2t cos t square whole square. So this is 4t square sin square t square plus 4t square cos square t square. If I take 4t square out, it will become 2t and then sin t square plus cos t square is 1. So I just get 2t. 2t is its modulus. So its velocity modulus doesn't seem to be changing. That means it's constant speed but different velocity. Oh no, not constant speed. Vt is 2t. So it depends on time t. At various times its modulus is different. It's slowly increasing. 
So unit tangent, anyway, don't bother too much about it. Unit tangent vector is Vt divided by its modulus. So divide this by 2t, you will get what you see on your screen, minus sin t square i plus cos t square j. This is the unit tangent vector. The notation is V cap. This is V arrow, which is the usual tangent vector. This is the unit tangent vector. Cap, I told you before, cap stands for unit. Uh, magnitude is 1. How did I get magnitude 1? Whatever its magnitude divided by its magnitude, then obviously the resulting magnitude is 0. So let us check one more problem like this. A particle moves along the curve. This is the curve is given here. RT. That means position vector is given directly, which means this is the xt, this is the yt, and this is the zt. Find its velocity at t equal to pi by 4 seconds. That's very easy. We want to find its velocity at t equal to pi by 4 seconds. All I have to do is Find its velocity vector first. How do I find velocity vector? Differentiate this with respect to t. So differentiate this with respect to t. Sine 2t. If you differentiate with respect to t, you will get 2t cos 2t. Right? Where do you get 2t cos? So differentiate sine 2t, you will get cos 2t into. There is a mistake here. This is wrong. Uh, I think there is a small. I will correct it here right now. If you differentiate sine 2t, I will get. 2 cos 2t. I will not get a t here. So this is a, I don't think that is correct. This is 2 and this is also just 2. There is no 2t there. Oops. Yeah, there is. So if you differentiate sin 2t, I will get derivative of sin 2t is cos 2t and derivative of 2t is 2. So 2 into cos 2t i minus y minus because the derivative of cos 2t is minus sin 2t uh, minus sin 2t into 2 so minus 2 sin 2t so this is what it should be 2 cos 2t minus 2 sin 2t j mm, so all over here i made a mistake oh the final answer i have written correctly only here i have put this t extra which is what there is sorry that i'm not So, velocity, this is the general velocity vector, not t square, it's t, sorry, 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 and small mistakes, copying, pasting, so please excuse me, I will come back to this correctly. So this is correct, R, rt, if it is sin 2t plus cos, sin 2ti plus cos 2tj plus 2tk, then uh, it will be, uh, I made a mistake here, I will correct it. Uh, sin 2t, if you differentiate, you will get 2 cos 2t. Cos 2t, if you differentiate, you will get minus 2 sin 2t. 2t, if you differentiate, you will get t here. So it is not, uh, it's not what I have written here, it's not 0. If you differentiate 2t, you will get 2. I'm sorry. So, next one is also, this is 2. Mm. At t equal to pi by 4, final answer is also not correct. I have to change this. Uh, at t, is it correct? Yeah, 2 t k, 2 k, correct. So, at, uh, 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 at pi by 4, you substitute pi by 4 in this, which means 2 cos 2 pi by 4 is pi by 2. 2 minus 2 sine 2t two is pi by 2 again. And here there is no t, so I will return whatever is there. Cos pi by 2 is uh, 0. So this term goes away. And this sine pi by 2 is 1. So I will get minus 2j plus 2k. Uh, so final answer is correct, but in between I had forgotten to change this. That's okay. So now it's correct. No problem. If you want, I'll explain once more. See, particle moves along this curve, sin 2t i plus cos 2t j plus 2t k. So, you want to find velocity at t equal to pi by 4 second. First, you find its velocity vector. Velocity vector is given by differentiating each of the coefficients with respect to t. So, if you differentiate this, I'll get 2 cos 2t. If you differentiate this, I'll get minus 2 sin 2t. If I differentiate this, I'll get this 2. So, I return that. This i minus this j plus this k. That's what I had written here. Now you put t equal to pi by 4 in x 
expression for velocity, you will get whatever I have written here, whatever you see on the screen, this is correct. Okay. I think this is all that is there in your velocity acceleration. You, I hope you know how to do it. Basically, you try to uh, differentiate it, put whatever values you want, differentiate it once more, you will get acceleration. Uh, I'll stop here. We will continue the next class. I'll uh, start with the next topics in the next class. Uh, thank you for your attention. I'll uh, one minute. How do I stop recording? Yeah.